Hello, Biocoil. At least there's someone with me. <laughs> so my stream must be working okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello again, Carowan. If that's how you pronounce that. Uh, yeah, I'm totally getting my dual monitor set up in a couple of days. As soon as I get, as soon as I get my HDMI cord in. So sorry about my ridiculous <laughs> streams. Um, I'll get started in just a second here. So sorry oh, about my, my ridiculous. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I got the chat open. I got my stuff set up. I think I'm ready. So. Alright. Here is my typewriter so far. And I just gotta get the complicated pieces go uh, going on in there. So, let's, um, I'm also going to go on Turbo Squid and look at other people's typewriters. Um, hello. Thanks for joining me. got like this uh, little handle piece that I gotta make here. Some kind of auto tweet thing. Um, yeah, I think I have my Twitch set up so that it auto tweets when I go live. go. Um. So it looks like I'm going to need an extra back piece. This is way too big. Oops. Link to my website is broken. Oh shoot, yeah, somebody mentioned that to me once and I forgot all about that. Thank you for reminding me, OxyCube.
Yeah, I feel like with um, modeling and stuff like that, people either prefer Maya or Max based on what they started with. <laughs> I I definitely prefer um, Maya, but that's just because I'm not used to Max, you know? <laughs> Oh, hi, Mortal Mechanica. Thanks for joining. Glad you saw my tweet. Yeah, sorry about the link, guys. I'll get that fixed. So how are you guys all doing today? a game dev class? That's awesome. Where do you teach? <laughs> Talking and modeling, it, it actually keeps me productive because, I don't know, it's kind of like hanging out and you guys motivate me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Roberto. Rafa, what uh, what kind of project are you starting? Rage, what's up? 
I'm doing good today, Rage. I'm trying to get some work done today. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I got on Minecraft for like a half an hour last night. It's relaxing. Steampunk style, that sounds great. I would love to see that. I I'm pretty into steampunk stuff. Did you make the foliage yourself? What's it for? I'm just curious. I love making foliage. It was annoying. <laughs> it can be annoying sometimes. What what are what are you working on? Vacation house in the mountains. Ooh, that sounds wonderful. Do you, so, um, do you have a portfolio that you're putting this in, or? Is it just, uh, is it for fun, or is it for anything special? Oh, okay. That's cool. Subdivision surface as a modifier? How do I get those smooth edges? Uh, I have a lot of a lot of tricks. Um, I like to use the smooth sometimes. Um, other than that, it's a lot of beveling and stuff like that. So um, sometimes when I'm modeling something that has a lot of curves on it, the smooth tool can be really helpful. So for this piece here, um, I sort of blocked it out and then 
when I smoothed it, uh, it has a lot of extra edge loops, and I just went in there and got rid of those. It's kind of like a cheat, but whatever. Time is money, right? Aw, Roberto, I'm sorry to hear that. So I'll, oh, hi. Art and Time. Um, this piece is for a game that I'm working on for Free Sphere Entertainment. Um, the game has not yet been named officially, so, um, I won't go into too much detail, but it's like a, a horror exploration game kind of set in the World War II era. Well, sort of. <laughs> so, that's what I'm working on. Um... Let me show you what I was talking about earlier with the uh, smooth tool and how I cheat with it. Um, it can be a little trial and error sometimes. So like, for example, that was not perfect. So I'll go in and fix it. Magically death notes. Hmm. Probably not. I think it's just a prop. <laughs> but we'll see. You never know. You art and time. Yeah, 3D art can be very time consuming and very difficult, but all in all, I think it's a very worthy pursuit.
All right. What is voxel? I've heard of that, but I'm actually not entirely sure what that is. I gotta see what's on the other side of that thing. Oops. Why did I download that? Hmm. Alright, I still need to figure out. Vox. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. director. Oh boy. All right, Roberto. Oh, sorry. <laughs> One second. Okay. Wow. There's some detailed pictures on here. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out what the back of a typewriter looks like. So bear with me, guys. This one has the back side showing. Not really. a good one. I th oh, this is the one I was just looking at. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Um, well, it looks like it's got some sort of ruler thing on the back of it. Got a 
lot of pretty simple pieces, but just like so many of them. in the chat. Um, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. I just want the chat to stay clean and friendly. Um, generally, if people say anything rude or offensive, I'll just ignore you. <laughs> I'm not sure if that answers your question. If not, I'm sorry. You can clarify. The, uh, oh, and yeah, working while keeping track of the track of the chat actually kind of keeps things interesting, so I don't get bored. <laughs> okay, and then I'm not really sure how to model this little piece here. I wonder if this is getting a little crazy in the poly, poly count. Uh, 6,000. Uh, yeah, you should be able to post links. to try and figure out what this part type guide okay that's a complicated little piece there Trying to find a good picture. Google is really letting me down in terms of reference images today. Oh, hey, Selman. Uh, is there a simple and fast way to convert a high poly model to low poly? I tried Optimizer in 3ds Max once and it didn't give a good result. Um, I generally, if I want to cheat and do things the easy, fast way, I'll use ZBrush's Z Remesher. That usually is pretty reliable. I mean, it's not perfect by any stretch of the means, or by any stretch, whatever. Uh, it's not perfect, but it generally will retopologize things super fast. Oh yeah, Decimation Master is really good too. Um, but that gives weird, weird edge flow. I don't recommend that unless you're just trying to get something low poly enough to bring it into Maya or Max um, in order to fake some maps or something like that. Um, but if you're just trying to retopologize something and give it good edge flow, then Z Remesher is generally the way to go. Yeah, you could you could also do that. 
Yesterday for my Charizard, I actually um, dynameshed it, <laughs> and then and then used the Z remesher, and that works too. All right. the transforms on this guy. Yeah, simple and fast. Yeah, that doesn't generally happen, but you're either sacrificing quality or time. <laughs> Typically. Anyways. Yeah, I'm kind of using just like all the references. <laughs> There's really no good reference for typewriters, so you, I kind of have to like combine references here. I hope that works out. <laughs> There we go, that's kind of getting the shape in there. Okay, um, let's see, what time is it? And switched. Okay, I can duplicate it. Mm. 
Okay. See you later, Rage. Thanks for joining us. I can do both of these at the same time. There we go. Cool. All right. <laughs> Carowan, yeah. Uh, typewriters are pretty retro by default, aren't they? I'm going to combine these for now. See, I don't know what that's supposed to be attached to. This is why I'm having trouble with, like, the reference problem. If only I had a typewriter. Uh, yeah, I'll bevel it a bit after I figure out <laughs> where everything goes and if that's even the way that's supposed to, supposed to look. Um, for the most part, I, I mean, like, I beveled these guys already. Uh, I'll probably do this one, too. I'm all over the place. <laughs> I go back and forth on stuff. Um, now I think there's like some sort of like huge piece in here. Yeah, the type bars. How am I going to do that? I'll probably have to do like some sort of trick on that where it's not actually a million tiny little metal bars I might have to use normal maps or something says, I tried to model cars, furniture, and weapons with 3DS Max and Mudbox once, but I failed so badly. I think I'm not a good 3D artist. I should probably continue coding algorithms. Oh, it just takes practice. That's a lot of software to learn and figure out. You'll get it. If you're passionate about 3D art, then you'll get it. Just keep working at it. Alright, here we go. What am I listening to? Here we go. <laughs> um. There it is. Yeah, yeah, just keep trying. Um study a lot of artists. That's why I like streaming, because that's something I love to do, is just watching other artists work. Um, it helps a lot. Practice does make perfect. Absolutely. G10 link brings up another good point. Um, 
uh, simple shapes is definitely key. You'll have to sort of get a feel for um, figuring out what shapes you can use. Like, one of the coolest tricks I ever learned was... Um, I actually just did it a little while ago. Using this guy right here. What's this called? Uh, polygon primitives. It's not a torus. Uh, pipe? It's probably just a pipe. Yeah, <laughs> the pipe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, one of my favorite things to do if I need something with a hole in it is just to go and like make this four subdivisions um, and then it's like a square and it's something that you get like if you have a if you need like a hole cut into something that helps a lot just a random trick I don't know why <laughs> hey. I'm actually probably going to need one right now. I don't know why I just deleted that. So. Blueprints are intense. I admire anybody who models things based off of blueprints. I've never tried that. Actually, no, I probably need these off too. That'll do for now. is so confusing. <laughs> So basically, let's see. I actually got my start doing road blueprints in AutoCAD. I don't think I've ever used AutoCAD either, <laughs> to be honest. It's not working or something. Come on.
I am streaming, so that might contribute. <laughs> Um, well, I think for the most part, I've got most of the pieces that I need. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I never, I'm so lazy, I never do those fancy, um, button things. I did learn how to do that a long time ago. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm just constantly like, click, 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 click. <laughs> um, let's see what time it is. It's almost four. So I'll go for a couple more minutes here. I know it wasn't a very long stream, but <laughs> I've got a couple of things to do, and then I'll be on again tonight. I was hoping that I would be done with this and I'd be able to like start UV mapping this, but I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do here. Yeah, this just is not working. <laughs> <laughs> 